Well, let, let's change gears. I want to I want to get a little bit into your personal data, right? Your story here. Yeah, uh, I'm interested how, how you did make that switch or that progression from journalism into uh, the the data space and then into the data engineering space. Sure. Um, I mean, this is definitely interrupts me. This is maybe going to be like a long winded thing. Uh, no, by all means. My unabridged life story. Um, so I think the best place to start would be uh, journalism school. I went out to Phoenix, Arizona, to Arizona State. Um, I went to the Walter Cronkite School of Journalism and Mass Communication. I say the whole thing because they are very adamant that you say the whole thing. Um, it's a very long school title, but it's a pretty prestigious journalism school um, in the sense that it really upholds these standards that um, Walter Cronkite um, set and the high bar he set with his TV reporting for CBS, um, you know, back in the 50s, 60s, 70s. Um, and the great thing about that school is that it was very focused on hands-on learning. So from day one, I was in a studio, I was touching cameras, uh, you know, out in the field doing interviews. So it's one of these things that they really threw you into the deep end with the subject matter um, and helped you like develop the skills you needed to not only graduate, but to get a job and to be marketable. Um, and if they found out that I was working in like data and data engineering, I think they'd be very confused because that is nothing <laughs> like uh, we covered in school. Um, but yeah, so I finished that up in 2017, 2018. Um, and then I actually, I went home to Maryland very briefly. Um, and I took a job as an associate producer for uh, a radio show there, a morning radio show. Um, and I only worked there for a couple of months. I'd interned previously um, the summer before. So they knew me and they, they brought me on. Um, on a more sustained basis, I guess. Um, but I only stuck around for a little bit because after that, I got a call from, um, from NBC. I totally forgot, uh, that I applied to be an intern on the tonight show, which is like a very weird thing to forget, but it's one of those things that so many people try to do it, that you just have to push it out of your mind and be like, you know, I'm never going to get this thing. Um, but somehow they, they took a liking to me um, and I got hired there uh, in 2017 in the fall. And I was up in New York in the fall of 2017 um, at, at 30 Rock. And I mean, if you find that interesting, we can dig into that. I'm just trying to give like more of a prologue of, of leading up to data here. But um, yeah, so I did that. And then after that internship was over, I think I technically graduated then because I finished coursework a little earlier than my anticipated graduation date, I think, which was 2018. So I finished up in New York. Um, I went home for a couple of months to just kind of like figure out what to do next. And then on a whim, I applied for uh, the Disney college program. So I ended up going down to Orlando, Florida, where I am still uh, hanging out today. And I worked at Disney World for almost a year um, as a college intern, and then I worked part-time after that. Um, and that's a pretty important part of my short journey here because through Disney, I was able to um, get my master's degree in data science. So that's kind of how this all ties in. Um, I was initially driving boats at Disney. So I, if you know the Disney parks, I was literally driving some of the boats that go from uh, Magic Kingdom to the various resorts in the area. Um, and so that was uh, definitely an interesting experience because I was a college student essentially. And I think they trained me for like four or five days and they were like, you're signed off to drive a boat. And it wasn't on a track. It wasn't like part of an attraction. These were free floating vessels and I had like an authentic, I mean, like license and stuff. Uh, so it was all real. And I mean, you could definitely get into trouble if you didn't know what you were doing. So that was one of those things that I really had to like, again, learn pretty quickly. Um, trial by fire kind of thing. 
Um, so I did that and then uh, started working for the company on a part-time basis in resorts. Um, and then COVID hit and I was in school um, through them. Thankfully, they allowed me to continue because I was doing online school um, for data science. Um, and then, yeah, that was uh, pretty much from there. Uh, I started a job search and then I was able to land my role at Forbes today. So 